Okay, do not get scared when you see a question like this on the SAP math section. So it gave me two systems of equations and it's asking me the value of this. Guys, when you get, when you see a data, like a s equation set like this, what you should do is you should really try to eliminate one of these, okay, numbers here, because when you do that, and when you isolate the X in question here, you can find the value of X, right? And when you type in the value of X, you can find the value of Y. So what do I mean by that? Just watch. So I can see that I have my equations here. So what I'm going to do is, hey, guys, as you can see, if I try to add these up to together, this is going to get eliminated. Why? Because there's a plus in here and there's a minus in here. And when you add them, I would have to subtract this from this. So it will be gone. So let's do that. So I'm just going to type everything in the question. Okay. Because I'm going to do the math now. Just watch. Okay. So let's add these to each other. 2 times x minus 2 equals to um, 9, 5, 5. Okay, 559. So it's asking me the value of 6 times x uh, minus 2. Guys, what I can do here is either I'm going to do, hey, okay, let me just isolate the x minus 2 in here. And I will just do, you know, divide both sides by 2. And I'll be like, okay, so x is 559 divided by 2 plus 2. But you really don't need to do that, guys, okay? So here's what I'm going to tell you to do. Okay, so 2 times x minus 2 is 559. So how can I get 6 times x minus 2? How can I get that? If I multiply both sides... I can get this, right? Or I can do it on a long way, but nobody wants to do that. So guys, 6 times x minus 2 equals to 559 times 3. So when we do the math, and let's do that just real quick. Okay, 9 times 3 is 27. Um, 15, 17, 1, 16. Okay, guys, so the answer needs to be six, uh, 1677.